Hey everyone, welcome back to Drive It Out. My name is Adam and we are at the 2022 Kansas City International Auto Show in Kansas City, Missouri. And I have something new behind me. This is the Toyota Crown, right? Now, if you don't know about this car, this is new for the United States here from Toyota. This is a car that's been overseas before in Asia, but they're bringing this to the United States now. They're offering a hybrid powertrain. And I'm really curious now that I'm seeing this car in person for the first time. I will say a couple things I've noticed right off the bat. It's larger than I expected it to be now that I'm seeing it in person. Now, this, uh, this may have something to, this may be what they're kind of going for because that actually does some things for you. Here's what it does. You can tell that the car maybe sits up higher off the ground a little bit. It's almost like a Subaru-esque height off the ground here. But you're gonna be able to fit a lot in here and you're gonna be able to go a lot of places. So I think that's what they're going for with this. So if you are someone who was maybe shopping for a Camry, I'm gonna trust that Camry buyers are still out there in the world because it's just been such a hot seller. I understand that the world has gone to uh, bigger things, gone to small SUVs, CUVs, but the Toyota Camry is still a, a car that is known for its reliability and desirable for many people that just does the job. So if you are a Camry buyer, what would push you into the crown? And I think I'm surmising that it's going to be more room, you know, more space inside, but also more ride height, maybe a little bit more capability, but also the hybrid powertrain that you're gonna get here. Now, Toyota has done hybrid very well for many years. They brought the Prius to us many, many moons ago. Um, so they know what they're doing with the hybrid powertrain. You talk about this one, they're talking about, you know, pretty good horsepower, combination between the four cylinder engine and the hybrid motors to be over 300 horsepower, well into 300 horsepower. So you're talking about good power from this car here. Maybe a little on the heavy side, but I tell you what, it's very large and in charge when you look at it. It has very, look at this, it's huge wheels. You got that big height off the ground. I stand next to it. Look how high it is next to me. This is above my shoulder here. So this is a very large vehicle. But so you look inside, if you can get any glimpse inside here in the windows, you can tell there's lots of room in there. You're gonna have good leg room. You're gonna have good room side to side when you're sitting in here as a passenger, both front and back. But I tell you what, they have done what they can with the size of this car, with how it looks. And, that, and so when you look at this, they've made it white, but they add the black touches of trim everywhere because it's supposed to help your eye to kind of squeeze down the look of the design to not look so ginormous, right? So you have this black trim piece around the back window. You've got this black trim piece piece here on the side that's meant to kind of interrupt this large gigantic side that if you didn't have this would be almost like you laid a refrigerator on its side just a big white refrigerator you just have this huge panel so that to avoid that they add this here and it really dresses up the side of the car and it makes it look a lot better and a lot more pleasing to the eye so let's go around here to the back really quick and I'll show you the back of this car but it's gonna be interesting to see how well this car does in the United States we know Toyota makes great hybrid systems right so they're not an unknown territory here. But what they've done here is they've gone with a sedan that's larger, almost CUV, SUV size here. And it's interesting, you know, because you can get a hybrid in uh, things like the RAV4 and whatnot. And those are great vehicles, but it's interesting. It's just so interesting to me that Toyota is bringing us a sedan here to the United States and offering hybrid power. They must really think that it's gonna do well, and maybe it will, but you know what? Props to Toyota, because they're bringing us a little bit of everything right now. You have other companies out there, like Ford, who's pretty much said, nope, no more cars. They still make the traditional Mustang, but that's it, no more cars. It's all gonna be SUVs and trucks. You rewind 10 years ago, and Ford was kind of offering a little bit of everything, from enthusiast sports cars, you know, sedans, big SUVs, big trucks. They even have a supercar in the Ford GT. And it's the roles have kind of flip-flop. Toyota is that way now. They're offering a little bit of everything. So they're bringing us a new sedan in a world of SUVs that we live in right now. And they're going big with it, doing hybrid powertrain in here. But Toyota is also offering us enthusiast cars at the same time, not just one, but two with the Supra and the GR86. They offer excellent SUVs. They still offer a minivan. Not There are very few brands out there that are still offering a minivan. So literally, if you are not looking at Toyota, I don't care what you're shopping, 
you need to be looking at Toyota because they are offering everything right now. So I wanted to show you something new from them. This is the Toyota Crown. It's new for us here in the United States. Check one out. If you get a chance to go to your local auto show and see one, take a look at it and pretty soon you're gonna be able to test drive one. So I have every bit of faith that Toyota has executed this well. And someday when we get behind the wheel of one, we'll be able to let you know what the driving experience is like. But again, we are here at the Kansas City International Auto Show 2022 here in Kansas City, Missouri. I am so excited that you're here to watch this video. We are reviewing lots of cars here this week, and I hope that you will check some of those videos out too. And please don't forget to subscribe. You have found us on youtube.com slash drive it out. You can find us at driveitout.com. We are also on Instagram at drive it out. And I am personally on Instagram at naturally aspirated Adam. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.